Let's jump on into the Wawa, Wawa world. Wow! Um, let's see. Okay, the game sounds are coming through, it looks like. All right. Okay, so let me let me top off my food right quick. Right. So, um Where was so is the alien data, the terminal data? Right. So. So this one, the small herbivore gamma. So common peeper, no immunity, but this enzyme forty two, and shows ability to transmit this to other specimens. Um, and then there's. Um, unidentified Leviathan, Sea Emperor, potential immunity. So that's the one that we're probably looking for now, further down in the volcanic region. Um, their attempts to make a vaccine. But in addition to, like, this Enzyme 42, and it says, you know, the peepers can, uh, transmit the enzyme, um... There was on a herbivore peeper. Was it in peeper? No. Enzyme, enzyme host peeper. That's what it was. Because um, I remember we have seen a couple times where like the peeper has that weird sparkle glow after it. Uh, I didn't think too much about it, um, but it is one of the things I noticed. It's like actively going to other creatures. It has a bacterial infection, um, and it contains this. So this unknown enzyme. So now we know this. That's the enzyme 42, and it seems like it's heading towards other enemies, including predators. So I'm wondering. If these peepers are sort of the reason why there is any life here, because when we went to the, I don't, I can't remember where the other big information was. Um, I think it was in geological data. No. There was, we, so when we went to, we finally found the edge, it said there was an ecological dead zone. Um, so it seems like there's only life here. And we have seen various creatures with the, back to, with the infection, with the blue, the blue, green spore kind of stuff. So I'm wondering if there's sort of a fight in that, like the peepers are somehow spreading this enzyme and there's enough being spread that there's been a viable population i don't know if it's like keeping it stable or if it's like slowly out competing the bacterium uh, but also one thing if i remember my my biology virology like from from like school or whatnot like if a bacteria is killing off everything that is its hosts, it should burn out. So I feel like this this killing thing is might be more of a virus. Because I feel like the fact that it's a bacteria, it would be a lot easier to make a vaccine compared to like a virus, which is one of the things that makes the question of like what is life difficult to answer because depending on how you define what life is uh, viruses could count as not alive 
because they tend to need other things to be able to reproduce. Um, but anyway, uh, that was that was some of the things I was I was kind of pondering after viewing our. Uh, reviewing some of the information we had learned while I was idly farming in uh, Subnautica. But, let's see. Now we need to go build the prawn suit. And where did I... I think I, I, think I moved... There it is. So we got our mobile vehicle bay. Um, and I think I put all the stuff we need to build it over here. Let me grab that. Um, and I also wanted to build that shielding for our ship. So let's go ahead and grab those as well. So this, uh, we need to make a power cell and some green chemical. Polyaniline, yes, that chemical. Uh, do, 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 do. We don't need a reactor rod. I wonder if we, mm, I don't think we can use the reactor rods in our ship. That seems like a bad idea, even if I could. Right. So let's take the manta ray and go to the worm missable. Now the thing is, is we need a name for our prawn suit. And it kind of makes me think of a mech warrior situation. I could have checked my channel make sure everything swapped okay every it looks like everything swapped over just fine um so i kind of wanna i wonder like my favorite mech mech warrior mech is the catapult but the fact that the prawn suit has arms would mean it's more of a timber wolf which is like a catapult but it has like gun armaments whereas the catapult's just like giant honking fuck off uh missiles <laughs> all it has is missile and missile accessories all right so it now it has a shield i feel like the fact that it can have a shield means we should give it a shield because it seems like the sub is kind of slow and lumbering so if we get the attention of a leviathan I probably am going to want the shield so I can fuck up. Ah! Damn it, Aurorum. Welcome on by, but why did you have to throw me into the void? So mean to me. You're so mean to me. All right. Um, well, we need to go to the surface to make our prawn suits. So let's go ahead and do that. The fact that we can pilot while being looking from the cameras is honestly pretty sick. Uh, am I running into something? I heard like a banging noise. Oh, it's probably some fish. <laughs> Whee! Oh shit, this thing can get some air! Little drunk and clearly aggressive. Well, we got plenty of water to make sure you're hydrated. Uh, so that should perhaps help things. Um, what am I thinking? Wait a second. Um, now I know I went ahead and built some of the the equipment for the prawn suit. But did I store it in the warm missable? I did not store it in the warm missable. Oh, right. I made these, uh, the creature decoy things. Um, because I saw that we had a tube for them. So let's actually... Okay, so it's just easy as that. All right, that wasn't as interesting as I thought it was going to be. Um... Shice. Uh, did I put them in the manta ray? I did not put them in the manta ray. Uh, there's probably back at base. Hold on, let me go back to C-Lab. Whoopsie. 
want to make sure we can equip our damn uh, prawn suit when we build it. I hope you stay uh, stay within your limits, Aurarum, and don't make any unwise decisions. A quick little dive to restore things. Um, I did go ahead and also get the blueprints for the, uh, power cell and battery rechargers, just because that seemed like another tedious thing that there's no reason to, to bugger off with and, and not have them. Um, there it is. So, I want the storage module, the arms, and then the depth module... Uh, can I make... Hold on, that's Mark 1. What about the Mark 2 prawn... Depth? No, I need Kyanite. So that is a material I do not know. Already cut the drink in. Not sure if a lightweight for dropping off after two old, old fashions. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, building up a tolerance is... A pros and cons, like... If you can drink more, it's still... I mean, it's still a poison. It's one of the reasons why I, I cut myself off. I was starting to drink. I feel like it was starting to get a little concerning how much I was putting away. As much as I find it quite tasty, uh, especially absinthe. I really love the taste... I really love the taste of absinthe. Um... Alas. Don't even bring stuff home. That's probably a good idea. My thing is, is like, I, it's, water is just too bland. Um, it's, it's just, I, I can't deal with, uh, drinking only water. Call it, call it being sugar-pilled or, or what I, and it's weird because I never really, I don't really drink a lot of sodas either. So it's like if I don't, like, I only drink sodas as mixers with alcohol, otherwise it's just water. So like nowadays I've replaced, like, if I'm either drinking water or I'm drinking coffee. Um, which is its own, own one-two punch. I, I haven't found a, like, sweet drink that, repl that can, like, replace that urge. Um, there is a brand of sparkling water I found, but it's still kind of tedious to order that because like monsters were my like sweet drink of casual uh, consumption, but I've cut those out. Um, so I haven't had any energy drinks in a long while as well. Um, let's... Uh, I kind of want it to be daytime when we summon the prawn. Let me go over here, just in case. Oh, I just noticed it has, like, in the bottom right, like, where the camera is facing in relation to our ship. Oh, that's cool. All right, so this one, we want this one to face forward. And this one's back. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I don't like that. Right, unless it's crisp night water. All my, I can't drink uh, uh, tap water these days just because I had some bad, some places with some pretty bad tap water, really hard water. So all mine goes through a filter, but it's still, yeah. Could never touch energy drinks. Yeah, they uh, they really they really kept me through for a while. I was drinking like two monsters a day on average, uh, which is had an effect on my teeth. That's for sure. Which frustrating, but I gotta live with our decisions. Oh. <sighs> 
so serene. Observe the majestic reef-backed leviathan as its sonorous cries echo through the deep waters. It floats on by, hosting a plethora of coral and other natural creatures upon its back. Then it says I shouldn't drink five sodas a day. What does he know? Yeah! You gotta watch out for that big fluoride. <laughs> um... This is like a dolphin cry? That was kind of weird. Wow, wow. All right, I don't want to get too far in. I don't want to beach myself because that'd be very embarrassing. All right, come on. Daylight should be soon. Let me go ahead and get ready. Um, gotta go ahead and do some streaming. Well, I hope you have a fantastic time, Aurora. And thanks for stopping on by. Always fun seeing familiar faces. All right, so uh, let's do our base assessment. Um, we can build a prawn suit, so I'm going to hide that. But we're going to want a moon pool, multi-purpose room, scanner room. Um, thermal plant. I think power transmitter, because if we're going the toasty zone, I imagine the thermal plants are going to be great. Uh, where's the warm missile or the prawn suit? Um, and we're going to need a fabricator. So we've got six power cells as backup power for our ship. Um, we need the lubricant. Ingot. So we got lubricant. No. Nope. Alright, so lubricant, titanium ingots, and then, okay, we have plenty of lead. Alright, so lubricant, two ingots. Uh, we have plenty of titanium. We're gonna need two things of coral. Uh, we have a bunch of gold. We got one coral. Hey, Ro Arts! Welcome on by playing some art. That is a very fun game. A lot of cool people play art. I, I definitely concur. Chibi Geek! Roadie over! Roadie over! Welcome on by everybody. Hey, if you don't know me, and I find my button to zoom in. Hi, hello. I'm Drecky Wormer, a draconic serpent, a flightless dragon, or simply a worm on the internet. Today we're playing Subnautica. Oh my god, it's a cute snack. Yeah, yeah, I'm a worm. I'm a wormy worm. Uh, I don't know how long you're doing some art, uh, but I am just getting started tonight. Ooh, a snag. Delicious. Delicious snags. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Um, so, at the very least, you should take a minute to step back, do a little stretching, leave a piss, take a water. Probably don't take the water from the place you just pissed, but I'm not your keeper. Um, and I'm going to be going for a good long while, because I don't know about y'all, but... I have been enjoying the heck out of Subnautica. Um, if you've played this before, uh, please no spoilers. I'm playing this blind. I don't know anything about Subnautica. I feel like we're at least halfway through the game, though. Uh, we'll see where we go from now. Looking at people's art in the community is a lot of fun. Ooh, that's always fun. There's a lot of, a lot of great artists. Um, I certainly concur with that, considering like every single thing I have is made by a different artist. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a brand risk, but certainly a uh, brand headache. <laughs> uh, 
Just world explored when you play, but you want to get back into it. Scared of the burning ship. Yeah! I'm more scared of the uh, giant creatures we've run into. So that's been fun. Um, we've made uh, this big ship, and we're about to make... It looks like a mech, the, uh, the prawn. We have our manta ray, our little ship. This is our worm missable, because it's a big, like, submarine thing. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to name the prawn. Um, but let's go ahead and open up this thing. Deploy this. And get our prawn made. Yeah, it took a while for me to make any progress on building. Um, if anyone wants to also play Subnautica Blind and they're going to bounce out, that is perfectly fine. I appreciate you stopping on by. Um, let's build this prawn suit. First, piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. <laughs> the prawn. It gives me unlimited power. Uh, wait, did it? Where did it go? Oh, it sank. Where do you tell it? Mm. All right, hold on. Let me... Hold on, where's the upgrades? All right, so I got the drill arm and a grappling arm. I want to give it the storage and then depth. Um, all right, before we take it for a spin, let me pack this up, actually, and take it back. Uh, let's go ahead and store it over in our pod, because if we're going to be diving way deep, it's kind of going to be useless for us to take it with us. I don't know if we're going to find other potential things to build. We will um, drown that bridge when we find it. Hey, Lizzie Bit, welcome on by. We are just getting started in Subnautica tonight. I'm trying to think of a wormy name. Let's, let's see. I'm thinking if it's Mech Warrior, so Timber Wolf, Timber Worm? We could maybe call it Timber Worm. That seems okay. I hope y'all are having a fantastic Friday. And if y'all are preparing to do some cooking, I hope it goes fantastic. It is almost the week of potlucks, and I cannot wait. Um, let's t actually take this med kit just in case. Well, brekkie. <laughs> I mean, breakfast isn't too bad either. Got me some of my leftover green bean casserole. That should be good for another couple meals. Oh, God. This is such a beautiful game. I just wish the dang music would appear more often. Yeah, she's going to wake up in a few. Ooh, making brekkie for the homies. That's the way to do it. Alas, my snakes just don't want any of the food I make. I, it's like they just keep ignoring me for all their rattos. So rude. Hashtag housewife things. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's fun to cook for other people. That's why I like potluck so much. I feel like if I had a regular meat like that's that's like my thing I, I like uh sort of um like condominium sort of things or if there was like a group uh Welcome to the captain. like um i want to switch those arms hold on uh, uh like a commune or something like that um i would like to do i would like to do the cooking 
Can't get cook anything besides ramen and pierogies. I burn water. <laughs> I mean, pierogies sound yummy. It certainly takes practice, but also like identifying the kind of way you cook. Some people are more like, some people are able to plan things out and just get everything. I'm more of an impulsive cooker. I sort of have like various things I can put together. So I just stock van random stuff to have on hand. Like I have like some bags of dried beans, some lentils, some rice. And I'll just be like, oh, I just want some beans and rice. And I'll just grab them and put them together. Or it's just like, oh, I want some veggies, you know? All right, all right, this grappling hook, exactly what I want. We can, uh, we can speed boost. Whee! Oh, shit! Ah, oh, it broke me back up! All right, it seems we have, like, a little boost, so... It's not too good. All right, we have this drill. Does this drill do damage, or does it just harvest? Can I drill this fish? All right, uh, hmm. I don't think that worked. All right, so we can't like just harvest fish or anything on the ground. Noted, noted. Also won't touch any raw meats or egg of any kind. Can't stand how it feels. Oh, I completely understand that. Uh, I can't do baking at all because I cannot stand the texture of flour. Like anything that's really fine if it gets on my hands, like, I just immediately have to wash my hands. And I end up going through... I just... just despise it so much. Um... Can we... Hold on. Uh... Alright, uh... Shoot, do I need to make a moon pool? Um... Hold on. Let's see if we... We should actually... I think... Can we dock the prawn suit in the more missable? I'll have to cook with disposable gloves. It could work, yeah. Um, let's take... It seems we can only dock one thing. So let's get the manta ray out. Put it off to the side. Ooh. Uh. Can, can we? Uh. There we go. All right. All right. Okay. Uh. Can we customize the prawn suit? Not from here. All right. So we're going to have to take our. We have to leave either the prawn suit or the manta ray when we go for the lava tube. Uh, so, since we're gonna have to go back to C-Lab anyway, let's take the prawn suit for a spin down to C-Lab. And then we'll take our permissible back over here. We'll just leave the manta ray docked at the C-Lab moon pool. And if we see any ores, we can practice the drilling. Um, we also probably can grab some more since, like, it has a bunch of storage space. Uh, we can fill up on various materials. Because um, I want to I wanna get enough stuff for us to be able to build our base and all sorts of stuff that we might encounter down there. I might want to bring, like, extra titanium and some other materials that we may not that i think we won't find while under like way deep down so i'm thinking i might bring like extra aerogel as well maybe some copper because copper is pretty important uh hey copper hey copper what you doing oh and the copper immediately goes to inventory love that uh drilling feels a little slow I kind of wish I could hot swap the arms, but I think I would have to get out to swap them around. I like the mobility that the grappling hook gives me, though. But I think we'll just have to hashtag deal with uh, 
the copper. Or hashtag deal with, like, the drilling being slow. Just working at the smoothie place and touch food all the time so you can make a smoothie if that counts. I mean, yeah, smoothies are great. Raspberry, ooh. Oh, hey, lithium. That's a pain in the dick to fucking farm, so I'm gonna drill the shit out of that. I used to, when I was trying to do more, like, workout stuff, uh, smoothies were my favorite way of getting, like, protein powder. We, I would usually make, like, it was like a banana, a bit of, I think, ice cream, a bit of uh, the protein powder. Uh, it was a damn scrunchy. Scrunchy? Scrumptious. Uh, drink. Damn, now, now I want like a... Now I want a sandwich, like a, a peanut butter, honey, and banana sandwich. Oh, that sounds so good right now. I don't have any bananas, though. They go bad too dang fast, and I don't eat them fast enough. Ooh, what's this? Is that uranium or gold? Ah! Hookshot! Spider prawn, spider prawn, does whatever a spider prawn does. Strawberry and orange with extra orange. Nice. Kind of funny how gold does like a little shiny sound effect whenever I pick it up. It's like, swing, money, 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 money. Stop by to say, I hope your night's going great, Target. It is Xanos. Going even better seeing another awesome person drop it on by. I hope the uh, the pixel art's been coming. Honestly, that, that piece I've been seeing you work on, the animation of, for the longest time, I thought it was like Jinx. Uh, uh, for a while, because it kind of, it kind of, it, it, you know, it, it feels very Jinx coded to me. But then I noticed the horns is like, oh wait, hold on, this is a, this is an OC of some kind. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, so our hook shot has a distance limit. Wee! All right, let's see if we take fall damage. Doesn't look like it. That is good to know. Oh, this... This feels like a new song. Okay. Uh, get me to the moon pool, baby! Uh... Ow? Why did I take damage? Oh, I'm dehydrated. So dehydrated, I'm dying. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Give me my fruit! Give me my fruit! Ah! Get in my tummy! Alright. Funny how we can do, like, the RPG method of uh, healing by just... <laughs> Shoving like a cart's worth of fruit down our gullet. <laughs> All right, thankfully I do have this health pack, so let's go ahead and top ourselves off. Um, how's our charge? Put some more biofuel in there. Uh, let's go ahead and save as well. All right, um, let's clear our pinned blueprints. Because with the storage from our inventory and the prawn suit, I think we're going to be pretty darn fine uh, for materials. Ah, gnomes! Gnomes can't breathe underwater! All right, so let's customize our prawn suit. So if I'm going with Mech Warrior, um, what mech does the prawn suit make me think of? You know, my favorite is the catapult, the timber wolf, but it, like, it doesn't really have like the big shoulder kind of things, so I don't think that's the right kind of mechs. Um, not an atlas. I need to, I need to, I need to 
Mech Mech Warrior chassis. I need like a list of mech warriors. Of mechs to like look through. Like the only other one that I can kind of think of is like the Atlas. That one, from my memory, was more of like a brick with arm guns. Jaeger. No, nah, the Jaeger looks kind of squat. Hmm. Ooh, Catapult K2. Oh, that looks sick. All right, I need, you know what? That was a bad idea. I need to not look at mechs because that's, that's going to get me to want to play Mech Warrior again. Um... See, it's called the prawn, so something fishy. Mm, I'm kind of. I still have like a like a draconic theme I want to stick to. So what about? Uh, I don't want to call it Leviathan because we have like the Leviathan entities that we fight. Um, you know, what, while we wait for the name, let me let me mess with the colors a bit. Um, You know, our, our ship is a bit of a bit of a safety, so let's go for more of a um where's that stripe? Right, yeah. I think a little bit more of a olive sort of color. Make the base a little bit more green, perhaps. No, it needs to be, I think it's like kind of an orange yellow. Bit drab. Yeah, and then that stripe, we can break it up with maybe like an orange? No, no, that was too close to the, uh, Ooh, what about like a red, like a like vibrant red? Maybe a blue. Hmm. No, eh, I'm not feeling that blue. I don't like. Okay, I can kind of see the stripe from here. Um, I don't think a vibrant. We need to kind of take down the saturation. Hmm. That looks okay. Kind of a olive and purple. Purple kind of makes it pop a little bit. All right. All right. I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go with that. And for the interior... Uh, the interior, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it just black. I want the dark interior. Blacker than the blackest black times infinity! <laughs> uh, but for the name. Um... Actually, it can't be Worm, because it has hands. Worms don't have hands. Um... Wyverns don't have hands. Dragons do have hands. What other draconic entities do have hands? Uh, dragon uh, types. I know there's like a good picture of like the different types of dragon. Yeah, there we go. Oh, all right, like a salamander or a lindworm. Hmm. So lindworm would be like a a ground and earth. So what would be the equivalent to lund, but in water? I think it's just I think it's aqua. I think it would be Aqua Worm. What language is Lind? Oh! 
I accidentally minimized chat. Let me unfuck that. What, I think it's Latin. What language is Lindworm? Or Lind... Uh, that's Lindworm. Eh, Lindworm works. So, let's look for... So, water in... Go for Danish. Ah, that looks nice. Vandwim. Vandwim. There we go. Favorite snack thing is the Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, the feathered serpent. Obviously, I concur with that. Uh, as you can perhaps guess by my visage. <laughs> uh, very inspired by old, old Quetz. But uh, no actual relation to them. Um, I am not capable of flying. Um, I'm actually more closely related to uh, your Mungander. Uh, I just happen to, you know, all, all entities in the rainforest have a pretty vibrant plumage. So uh, that's, uh, that's sort, of, sort of how that works. Perhaps I'm splitting hairs, but you gotta, you gotta... Yeah, understand there is a difference between like the uh, uh, emerald tree boa and the uh, Amazon tree python. You know, they both look the same. They're both green, but they come from very different regions. Because looks can be deceiving. Ah, ah. All right, so we need to go back to our ship. Need to dock the manta ray. And we're gonna need to do a bit of a switcheroo. Actually, didn't I want... Hmm. Oh, I meant to load up the... I meant to check what the uh, Vondworm... How big, like, how much we got from those mining. Just to see how much a mining node gives. Man, it is so nice to have our giant oxygen tank. Love it. Like, I like staying underwater as long as possible. The scenery is beautiful in this game. I just wish I could get the music to play more consistently. Consistently, yeah, they make it more on and off to rat to ratchet up tension. But if I'm gonna be honest, I feel like they they kind of hamstring themselves too much by making the music um, turn off so much randomly. All right. How fast is the worm missable? Hmm, I think what we can do, let's try and get like directly over Sea Lab. Well, no, that doesn't work. Um, wait, I have an idea. So how fast are we getting away from our ship? So it's about 10 meters per second, it looks like. So about as fast as our, um, when we have the the sea glide little thing we hold on to. That's not too bad, but it's still not as fast as the manta ray. I think that one gets closer to like 20 meters per second. All right. We have almost finished our preparations so we can go into the lava tube. probably going to be a test of my uh, piloting skills. We're also probably going to get attacked by the Leviathan. But I don't think I can get past the Ghost Leviathan. We'll have to get really lucky if I can slip past it. 
I love how we can look from the cameras while piloting the ship. Ooh. Um, I want to check out... Ooh. Oh, that train, that takes a lot of power. Oh, that was like 5% every second, every couple seconds. All right, so we cannot leave, we cannot leave the shield defense system active. Yikes. Frankie, how's your day? It is pretty darn good, Aurora. How about you? You've been having a fine, fantastic Friday week. What have you? Dive, dive, dive. Making food. Ooh. What ya, what ya chowing down on tonight? All right, let's get this closer to the ground. We're gonna need to get the uh, prawn into it. Ooh, ooh. What is that little marker? Interesting. Anyway. I love this song. Good shit. French onion soup or a sandwich? Hmm, I mean, I don't know about canned. I didn't even know they made canned French onion soup, if I'm gonna be honest. Flares. Wait, when did I get all these flares? Wait, no, I need to take the warm missile. I need to get the manta ray. Take the manta ray out. All systems online. But I mean, sandwiches can be still be pretty pretty great. Welcome aboard. Turkey sandwich. Nice, nice. Ain't nothing wrong with a quick and simple meal. Like a bunch of lantern fruit. You just shove them down your gullet. <laughs> um, right. We wanted to, I wanted to see what, what's the uh, storage looking like here, buddy? Oh, hmm, I see, okay. Uh, those mining deposits are a lot. Um, I know we need gold for a lot of high-end electronics. I'm going to leave a lot of that gold in, actually. I don't think we need lithium too much. And that, I'm pretty sure lithium might be something we find down in the depths. Um, so let me drop off some of this. I know we need silver also for electronics, so I'm going to grab some of that. Um, and I'll take some of the salt out, because I know we need salt for some things. I feel like we won't find salt down there. Um, and we'll take some of the coral tube samples. And the table coral. I know we need table coral for electronics. Coral tube, we've mostly used that to make bleach. But we'll go ahead and store that in here as well to bring with us. Salt these things. Um, for our electronics, let's take some of our advanced and wiring kit and a copper wire. Uh, I'm going to want a couple batteries. Computer chip. Um... Ion cube. 
nutrient block. I do want to have an emergency food and water supply. So I'm going to go ahead and stock that real quick. Perfect prepper. Oh, it's full. Um, let me take... Let me hold some of the copper in my inventory. So... Like that. Alright, so we have an orange tablet, an ion cube. Um, do we have a purple tablet? Can we make a purple tablet? I think we can make a purple tablet. Uh, purple tablet. Alright, yeah, diamond. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, That way, because I don't know what the research facility might need. Let's make sure we're ready. Um, you know, let's let's bring a couple ion cubes just in case. Uh, radiation suit. You know what? We'll leave we'll leave the radiation suit. I think I think the radiation suit will be fine. Um, so we got all of those. Uh, titanium. We can fill the rest of our inventory with titanium. That's, that's good, flexible material. Um, do I have food? Well, I have the thermal reactors, but I might want to make a bioreactor as well. Uh, let's see if we have any seeds in our ship. You know, this would be a lot easier if I have more storage space. It is weird that it has, like, an entire wall of lockers. But I'm missing... Ah, I don't want to drill, I want to grapple! Hmm... I mean, it is a big ship. What if... What if... I wonder... Hey, Jazzy, you got to raid, got to raid, got to raid. Welcome on by amazing people. Candy Dagger, Bush Crank, John Nather. Damn, so many amazing people. Oh, did you, uh, did you finish one shot? That looked like a really cute game. Um, is there like a... Let's see if I unlocked like a, a ship storage. Or maybe I can put like a locker. Ooh, I can make a locker. Wait, if I can make a locker, can I make a wall locker? Oh! <gasps> Oh, you fools! You fools! Oh, we are gonna bring so much shit. I don't even need to make a decision now on what to bring. Not yet, there's so much more to do, but you made it pretty far in. Need a part two? Ooh, wanted to stop on a cliffhanger? Nice. Lockers store more than wall lockers? Yeah, but lockers can't have names. So... Go. Uh, you know what? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. I could make more, but I would rather it be equal on both sides. Plan on streaming a while longer. Might need to run real quick. Oh! Oh, I'm just getting started tonight, Jazia. Uh, we, we are just doing preparations. So, I'm gonna be go. I forgot how, how much time likes to pass and I gotta close the chicken. <laughs> oh yeah, don't let your, don't let your, don't let your chickens get away. Alright, so this is gonna be, um... For just a whole fuck of titanium. I'm gonna make this for, um, copper. I'll make this one for coral. Make this one for lead. Because I think 
lead is a good so it's good i know it's good for our radiation i know we're gonna need it if we need to reinforce structures what do we, hold on what do we need for the um foundation thing titanium and lead all right so let's fill these two up with titanium Um, so for now, let's put some of this shit in here, just to make inventory space. Do 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 do. Put the copper in here. Be back in like ten minutes. Watch you try on the cooking. <laughs> P.S. Love your love your enclosure. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to trying to make some new aquariums every time. <laughs> yeah. It's a uh, it's a lot of fun. Try, trying to get the right balance. I've been considering, like, I found there's, like, like an adaptive, apparently, like, um, mask OBS filter, and I've considered, like, putting it, like, over the aquarium, because, like, right now, I kind of get outside of the aquarium, and it seems like a decent way to sort of try and have it, sh have me only in the aquarium, but I feel like... It may mess up some of my redeems, especially like things that move me around, like Yeet and Sandevastan. So I haven't really pulled the trigger on checking it out yet. Um, we will have to ponder that. All right, so let's magnetize. Let me get all this out. And then this is more gold and copper. Copper, it's copper, it's the copper. All right, so let's put. Gold in here. Yeah, we'll put gold and silver in here so we can put nine by nine. Actually, hold on. Wondering if gold... Gold might be more in demand than silver, to be honest. I think I might fill one up with gold. It's this power transmitter. Magnetite aerogel. So maybe we'll fill one up with magnetite. Half aerogel, half silver. And then one just full of tight... Uh, gold. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll split um split one between aerogel and um silver. We're gonna need a lot of magnetite. Actually, no, not that one. Let's put the aerogel in this one. Um. Wait, hold on. This is this one's gonna be my electronics because we have our backup um, power sources. So let me put, or this will be our processed goods. So the lubricant, computer chip, wiring kit. Um, we can go ahead and get some more electronics as well. We'll just shove them in here. Actually, you know what? We'll probably get some battery. We'll probably make some batteries real quick, just so we have backup batteries. <sighs> Or actually, we can just take the processed goods, because if I'm going to do... Oh, here's those other electronics. I knew I had some others. Sorry, uh, I, li I like to stay organized, so I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be doing, doing a bit of inventory shuffling here for a minute. Oh, sorry about that. All right, put these in here. Okay. So I need to put... We need a whole thing of magnetite. So I need to get three, six, nine, twelve more. Go ahead and get our gold and silver. Be back. Well, welcome, almond back, tapes. 
Uh, not missing much, just a whole bunch of inventory shuffling. <laughs> Stretch and hydrate. <sighs> oh no! Oh god! Ah, it's spinning. Ah, ah, There's a whirlpool that's opened in the aquarium! Help! Help! Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. I did make it a little bit more easy for it to happen, um, just because I feel like uh, y'all were y'all were y'all were swinging and missing just way too much. All right, so I need a bunch of copper and the magnetite. Oh, you know what? We don't have any of the nickel ore. Let's bring six nickel ore, actually. A little of the copper back. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. What do I have rubies for? I use rubies for anything? What am I? What do I? Oh, powers. Oh, okay. Hmm. Noted. Wait, I don't need copper. I have the prawn suit with a bunch of copper, actually. Let me put that back. Hmm. Ah! Holy shice! Hey, why didn't the alert go off? Dream elements. How dare. Um. Holy fuck. Thank you. Thank you for the five bomb. Uh, 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 you got the am coral. You got gin. You got coaxel. John Nather. Lizzie bit. A lot of fantastic people over there. What is going on? Let me look at my alerts. Alright, that played the graphic, but I didn't hear anything. Let me... Try again with a... All right. Not sure what's going on there. I didn't make any changes to my alert page. Concerning. Exactly, snakes with tapes. Exactly. Exactly my thoughts on this whole situation. <laughs> um, right. Uh, what were we grabbing? What were we grabbing? We got the nickel ore. Rubies. That sound is suitable for this game. It really is. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, where's my magnetite? Arrow gel. Fill that up. Need some more magnetite. Um, you know what? It's probably gonna take like six aerogel, maybe, maybe nine. I'll see how much I can make. And let me put like the extra rubies. I want to get like six rubies. Well, six rubies and six aerogel. I think that's a good balance. Um, let's just put this. Bullshit in here. And you go down and get a whole bunch of copper. It's the copper. Alright. 
Maybe a little over preparation, but better. You know what? We can we can drive this closer. Do do do. Go ahead and uh, back that shit up. Beep 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 beep. I have insurance. Don't worry about it. I am definitely submarine certified, I swear. Trust me, bro. Engine powering down. Wait, hold on. We have a horn? <laughs> Imagine if that attracted a Leviathan and I just fucked myself over. Let's go ahead and save. Skishunk. Uh, we need to eat, actually. Oh, I need to remember for the scanner room, I need to grab our distance modules before we leave here. At least, I think they're over here. Let me double check. Right. Go ahead and pull those out. We'll put them over here. We'll grab them on our last trip out whenever we stuff our inventory. Put the scanner room things here. Uh, fuck these flares. I don't need that shit. I don't need those vibes. Um, we'll just take all of our electronics, to be honest. And TI, yes. Actually, hold on. Leftover. More TI. Actually, we never built that alien containment. Where is it? Let's go ahead and build that here. Oh, hold on. We need to remove this modification station. Inventory full. Inventory full. Don't you tell me my inventory's full. Let's build this containment and then throw all of our eggs in there. Just because. Oh, that goes like a head pat's Aurora. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select um, carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Wait a minute, I can't get in. Oh, add a hat. Okay. Gotcha. I gotta add. I gotta add a way in. I see. I want it to be on that side. Oh, not good. Hold on. Oops. Uh, we lost power for a second. Our place took damage, I think. What's going on? Oh, uh, we need to repair. Hull integrity restored. Draining Noted. Initiated. Um, I see. Uh, we need some lead. I need to build a, uh, a platform. A reinforcement platform. Yikes! That was a little concerning. Uh, foundation. Okay. Just uh, build it over here. No, 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 no. Let's build it over here. Can't build it over there. Fine, we'll build it over here. Like it matters, all of it will add to the base health. Last store was so intense it blew the nameplate off that locker. Exactly. <laughs> well, I need I need a separate place because I want I have some alien eggs I've been collecting and I want to hatch them, but I don't want them to like swim away from me, you know. So it's like I gotta build an aquarium inside 
the greater aquarium, you know? All right, so we got fish, we got egg. All right, so one of these is a duplicate. We're just gonna, we're just gonna throw all the eggs. <laughs> Some of you may eat each other, and that is a risk I am willing to take. <laughs> you put an aquarium inside the aquarium's aquarium. Be like aquariumception. Ooh, look at that one. It's wiggling. Ooh, it's wiggling. It's wiggling. That's probably glitching off of like the terrain or something. Excellent. Yes. Uh, what was I doing? Right. Equipment transfer. Grab some more bullshit. Dive, dive, dive! Swim, swim, swim! Omelets? No, we're not making omelets. Dem's fish. Uh, I know this says copper. Let's put our electronics in there as well, because I can. We also have a bunch of copper in the um, Vondworm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the way it works is if like all the fish grow up together, they they're like friends. Aboard, Captain. You know, you put salmon and sharks together, and you know they're just buddies. That's what that's what the movie Nemo taught me. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> Pretty sure that was a documentary. You know, it's gonna be really hard to play wind chimes underwater. Uh, just kind of makes more of a blooping noise. Dinner time! Loudest wind chimes you've ever heard. <laughs> they they were pretty uh pretty piercing. Uh, I think we need to get fruit. Oh no! The chaos storm! Alright. Um, you know, it's okay. It's not uh, transmissible to normal people. It's simply a magical affliction. I'll, uh, I'll be okay, but until then, we're gonna have to deal with me shifting around. You know, it's just, just things that happen, you know? Gotta skedaddle, though. That's no problem, Aurora. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening, a rejuvenating eep, and enjoy those delicious, delicious tacos. Oh, take over got head pots. Right, I need rubies and aerogel. And some more magnetic ore. Uh, let's put the seeds with the copper. So if we make a bioreactor, uh, we have we can go ahead and start planting like rotten fr uh, uh, lantern fruits. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I couldn't reach the mute button fast enough. And try kick glitching out. Yeah, I uh, got hit with a chaos storm, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a bit of bit of shifting around for a while until you know I can uh, 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 shake it off, as it were. All right, we need to actually. Um, I do have three more aerogel, so we can grab that. Um, I'm not gonna bother bringing more, I'm bringing one fiber mesh so I can make a medical station, but I think I'm gonna leave the rest of these things. And if I need them, I'll come back up here for them. UBH. Uh, probably need to refuel our reactor. So let's put another blood oil in there. Um, I wonder if I should bring some chemicals. 
I'll bring like two of each. Wouldn't hurt. And we'll bring some more lubricants. Um, we need rubies. So one, two, three, four. Let's put the gel sacks in here. Your sneeze is recorded. No! Not my sneeze! You can't know that snakes can sneeze. It was used that against me. Well, Somehow. <laughs> no, I want to click on this. There we go. Think rocks. Uh, not there. Not that one. This one. So, one, two, three. All right, so we got six. Uh, let's make two more arrow gels, actually. So I need to, I need to go grab two more rubies. Um, we'll put our chemicals in here. Um, we can put our lubricant in the lubricant. I don't know why I have this diamond, but I'll put this diamond in here. Perfect blackmail material. No! You monsters! You wouldn't you wouldn't blackmail a worm, would you? Poor innocent worm. Uh, I'm gonna set our scanner to scan. To find those damn rubies. Meanwhile, let's refinish our food intake, or rather our hydration. Like our stomach is full, but we need to we need to make some lantern fruit smoothies. Um, so we have. I think I need a little. Nope. What do we have in acids? No. Plenty in there. I feel like the crystalline sulfur is going to be something we'll find underwater. Um, all right, we only need one ruby. All right, that's not too pro that's not too big of a problem. Um, oh, I think we did need a little more titanium to fill up. Lead. That was another one we needed more of. And I think it was magnetite. I'll grab some of that as well. Time to glow from a lantern smoothie. Ooh. That would be cool. If a lantern smoothie made you bioluminescent. That'd be pretty sweet. And probably concerning. Be like, uh, are you radioactive? Like, no, I'm not Imagine Dragons. I'm a real dragon. You don't need to imagine me. <laughs> All right, and then we fill the magnetite up. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's go ahead and get some of those rubies. Ruby. Hopefully none of these things have some sort of scythe gun that make it difficult to harvest. Hmm. You know, we got extra space. I think I'll put some of our glass in. I'll bring some of our glass along just in case. Because we do have, like, the normal glass and the enamel glass. Then some things need, like, normal quartz. So I'll also grab uh, those as well. Hey, Drecky, why are you glowing? Oh, I had a lantern smoothie. Yeah, the, the best part of the lantern smoothie is the uh, the sprinkle of uranium dust that you put over top. It uh, It really makes it pop. 
you know, it's, the colors are really complimentary. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, you feel a little funny, though, after a few days. It just kind of has a, a lingering, tingly effect. <laughs> Literally. <Boop. laughs> All right, where is the aerogel? One. Perfect. Is the crystal, other crystals in here? Uh, the titanium deep here. Magnetite we can leave here. Uh, for glass, all this and the enameled, and we'll take the stalker teeth just in case there's something that, well, nah, we'll leave the stalker teeth. Um, let's make, let's make two normal glass. Actually. We'll just make one. Just because the the space in there is in threes. Ah! Duringar. Name the snags. Uh well we got we've got the snorkel, we've got the snare. Um we've got the snaz. Yep, yep, yep. The snangle, the snorkel, the snaz. The the snegsy? Yes, the snegsy. <laughs> what else can we bring with us? What else should we bring with us? I think we're basically I think that's really it, to be honest. Anything else would just be me going to farm more shit. I think we should just use the, just leave the extra space and uh, go ahead and go in. But uh, thanks for the, thanks for the recent inscription. Fucking nine months during our holy shit. Um, I'm gl I'm glad you 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 like the emotes and you li you like the shenanigans that you've stuck around so long. <laughs> Oh, hey, we went, uh, we went a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit 8-bit now. A little, a little bit of, uh, electronics going on. We got some bits. We got some bobs. A little bit of, a little bit of silliness going on now. Really enjoy your time here? I'm happy to hear that. Uh, we'll just put it in with the glass, because why not? Oh, hold on. Oh. Wee! All right. So we got the random bullshit. All right, so we got our lead. We got so much fucking titanium. So many cool sets and such a wild setup. How the f do you not break your stream? <laughs> That's what we're here for. Exactly. Y'all are the ones that break my damn stream the whole time. I mean, some of the some of the things are not. They're just like filters or whatnot. So like the uh, the pixelization. I found a like there was a really robust blur filter that had uh, all sorts of interesting options. So like this pixelization, it actually has four, four or five different pixelization settings and it will randomly pick which one. Because um, each of them needs slightly different like size calibration, you know, because squares versus triangles versus hexagons versus dots, you know, I had to fiddle with that. Um, honestly, like 90% of my stuff is just made to be flexible with streamer bot because uh, that's just a lot easier for me to manage things and keep them consistent 
So that's what I, I've just tried uh, to to do and make sure I have. Um, go ahead and top myself off. Do I want to take more lantern fruit? We can start like multiple grow beds with multiple lantern fruit, but I think we're... What's in here? Oh, right, my random... What's this tablet doing there? Yoink. Um, I guess we can grab some more table coral, honestly. Because if we need electronics, we're really going to need electronics. I'll just, I mean, we might as well just grab more copper. We need it for the things. Hopefully silver won't be too hard to find. Um, and I mean, we have the room, so I'll grab some of the crystalline, some of the diamonds. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put that in as well. Go grab snack. I am probably going to shove this in our worm missable. I'm probably going to refresh myself real quick. And then we will go ahead and begin our dive. Uh, we have a... Uh, we'll put the the copper with the lead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> uh, random bullshit. Electronics. The tablet. The diamonds. Yeah. I would rather have this... Eh, fuck it. Fuck it all. Put one sulfur there. Four sulfur in here. Makes me cry. We need to leave some inventory for when we start actually building the base. You know what? I think that should actually be what's in our inventory. Is the very beginnings of the base. Let me grab those recipes. So we need... We're going to want a moon pool. Whoops. Put the knife in my front hand. Blueprints. So the moon pool, so it can be our entrance and exit. Moon pool. Scanner room. Um... Probably do multi-purpose because it's smaller. And we have extra titanium. So let's put one, two, three, four, five, six titanium. Plus five titanium. One, two, three, four, five. We need some ingots. And lubrication. Nope, nope, nope. Ingots and lead. All right, so we got that. We need two copper. Two copper. It's the copper. One thinky coral and one gold. Lamb's gold. All right, uh, how much inventory do we have left? Four spots. Um, how much is a thermal reactor? A lot of inventory spots, so we'll just hold off on that. Um, I think that's a good start for the base. So we'll climb up here. Go ahead and save. 